you want to make sure that as you're tuning, you're plucking the string like this. You want to make sure that all your other strings are muted. You don't want to hear any other strings, so you can't go. You have to just do one string at a time. And as you're doing that, you're turning the pegs at the same time, like this. So you're going. And turning the pegs. Now, make sure that when you go to the next note, you're only playing that next note. And I like to land my pick on the next string. Notice how it stops on the next string. And it just rests there. And then the next string. And it rests. And the next string. Okay, it's just resting. Okay? Um, Now something that's important to remember is that when you're tuning the guitar, you want to make sure that it lands exactly on green and rests there, basically. Now the way to make sure you're making the string higher on the top is to turn the tuning peg away from you. So it's up, up, and away. Try to remember that. Up, up, and away. So. If you're going away, it's making the string higher. If you, grow, if you go toward you, it's making the string lower. You see how? So you want to end up actually right in the middle. Don't turn it too much. If you do turn it too much, it will break the string. Okay? So the bottom is just the opposite. If you want to make the string higher, the sound higher, the note higher, what you want to do is turn it toward you to make it higher. Okay, so for example, on this peg, the way to tune this guitar is to make sure that you have an E, an A, a D, a G, a B, and an E. But they have to be totally in tune. So what you need to do is make sure that when you play the note, it's not on the red, because that means it's too flat. It has to meet all the way at the middle to green. So what you do is every second or two, you play the string, sorry, every second or two you play the string and you turn the tuning peg and I'm turning the top away from me and the way I remember it is if I want to make the note go up higher to make it meet in the middle because it's too low as you can see from the red, you notice that red, it's not meeting in the middle right here where it should be green. You want to go up, up, and away like Superman. Up, up, and away! So you want to make sure you're going up and away. So I'm turning the peg away on the top. Now as you can see, it's starting to get to the middle where it's green. And you want it to stay on there. Now. So it's at the point where it's on that green E. Now you want to go to the next string, the A string. See how this is too flat? 
I also need to turn it away from me. Up, up, and away. So I'm turning it away, and it's ending up on green right in the middle. Then, I need to do the D string. Now, what if it's too sharp? See how it's way too high? It went past the red and all the way to the yellow. So what I need to do is turn it toward me to make it lower, okay? So up, up, and away, you turn it away from you to make it go higher, up. But if you want to make it lower, you got to turn it toward you in the opposite direction. So I'm going to turn the peg toward me slowly, slowly, slowly so I don't break the string until I get to the green in the middle, which means it's in tune. So now it's on green, I believe. No, I still see some yellow. No, I still see a little yellow. All right, so now it's on, in the middle, on green. All right, so the next note, the next notes are going to be on the bottom tuning pegs. And on the bottom, it's the opposite, all right? In order to make it higher, you have to turn it toward you. So you're gonna turn it toward you. For the top, it was up, up, and away to make it higher. But to make the notes higher on the bottom, you have to turn them toward you, it's the opposite, all right? And I'm gonna start with the G string. And you can hear that it's way flat. It was so flat it was an F sharp, you see? It was an F sharp, so we gotta go up a half step, turn it t toward us to make it higher, until it's a G. Right in the middle. All right, so you got your G. Now, we go to the next one, and we're going to make it a B. And you can see it's flat. So we need to turn it toward us, make it higher. Slowly. And now it's right on the green. Okay, now it's in tune. Now we've got the E, the high E. It's flat. So we need to make it higher, we turn it toward us. And now it should be in tune. 